y'all, I'm Kay and I'm Trish. Welcome to our channel, Crafting Cousins. If you're new here, I hope you will subscribe by clicking on the red subscribe below. If you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know every time we upload new content. Today is Saturday, which means it's time for Craft Chat. So now might be a good time to pause that video, grab a cup of coffee and let's chat. which means it's time for craft chat. Hey Kay! Hey Trish! I'm so happy to be able to see you. Things didn't turn out quite like we had thought they would. <laughs> no, not quite. Last week we told you guys that we were going to be together this week. We were going to be doing some recording, but life happened and we weren't able to travel. So we are having to record remotely again. We're hoping in the next few weeks we will be able to see each other and do some recording. But for now, we're going to have to keep doing it this way. And we hope you guys will just bear with us. <laughs> As you all know, Kay and I both love using chalk paint in our project. We both have an affinity for it. <laughs> and we have had so many people comment on our videos telling us how we can make chalk paint so we don't have to keep buying it, especially since there's been a shortage lately. Mm -hmm. Now, we know some of these re recipes. We've even tried some of these recipes. But today we thought it would be fun to take six of the most popular recipes for making chalk paint and try them out. We're going to show you how we make them and then we're actually going to test them and see how they work and give you our opinion on them. Now, of course, we know that your opinion may not be the same as ours. So if you have a different opinion, please leave it down in the box and let us know. And if you have a different recipe for making chalk paint other than the ones we're going to use, leave that down there as well because people will want to see that. Now, one of the most popular ones that we see is people telling us to watch Holly over at Hot Humble Pie that she has a perfect recipe for chalk paint. We love Holly. We watch her all the time. We're subscribed to her too, and we do know about her recipe. The problem that we have had with that is she uses talc powder. And baby powder, all kinds of powder, used to be made with talc, but because of the lawsuits um, surrounding mm -hmm. talc, all of these have quit putting it in their powder. Now they use cornstarch. But I did look online and I was able to find some that has talc in it. Now, I had to pay a ridiculous amount for this small little bottle, but it'll be worth it for us to be able to test it. <laughs> now, I'm going to put on my glasses. Kay's going to do three of the recipes and I'm going to do three of the recipes. We will put the recipe down in the description box so that you'll have it. And I'm going to put it for the full amount but I'll also put the half recipe that we're doing. Since we're making so much, we decided to half this recipe so we don't have so much of it made up. And I will give you the ingredients for both, for the whole and the half down in the description box. Now, what we're going to be using in ours, and keep in mind, this is a half recipe. We'll be using two tablespoons plus two teaspoons of paint. We're going to use a half a teaspoon of lukewarm water and then a half a teaspoon of the powder. Our recipes are all just alike. The only mm -hmm. difference is the powder that's going in it. So let me grab some paint and we'll get started. All right, so now we're back and I'm excited to get started. The one we're going to start with is our most popular one by far. It's the one everyone talks about, and that is the recipe from Holly over at Hot Humble Pie. Now, she uses half a teaspoon of talc with half a teaspoon of water. So, we're going to give that one a shot. I've got the talc here, so I'll start us off, and it is a little messy. <laughs> now, my half teaspoon won't fit in this little hole, so I'm going to use two quarter teaspoons. That'll work. So let's get that out of there. All right. <laughs> so we put half a teaspoon of our talc 
into our bowl. It smells good. Oh, I, I wish they hadn't stopped using it because I love how it smells. <laughs> and then we're going to use half a teaspoon of lukewarm water. Okay. And then we're going to mix that up really well. And I've just got one of my little things here that I use when I paint sometimes. Okay, I have to say it doesn't mix very easily. <laughs> That's what I have found for most of these recipes. Yeah, the, the, the powder is so light that it wants to run all over the place and it doesn't mix well with the water. So you kind of have to just keep turning it and mixing it in. And then mm -hmm. I finally got it here. I've got a nice little paste. And you know, I was a little worried about it being too runny and it's definitely not. So there's our no. I'm gonna be using some pink paint. I could not find my white acrylic paint. Y'all know I live for me some chalk paint. So, but I did have some pink acrylic. So I'm gonna use that. And now in our first bowl, we're gonna need two tablespoons of paint. And then we're going to do two teaspoons of paint. And all this is, is it's half of a third cup. I looked up the rest, I looked up online to see how much of a third cup was half. And it said it was two tablespoons plus two teaspoons. So that's what we're doing here. Okay, so now we're going to, well, I guess I'll just use my finger because it sure ain't pouring. We're going to put our talc powder water stuff mixture. All right. And then let's just mix that in really well. And I'm just going to, I did have some, I do have some um, cleaning wipes over here. So that's a good thing. I did remember that part. <laughs> so now we're going to mix that in. And I can see that it's getting a little chalky there. And it is very smooth. Now, I do have to say that it is extremely smooth. Y'all can see it looks really good. So now let's test it. Let's let's paint a little bit on our board here. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, it is pretty. I, it is. I really oh. like that. I mean, oh, that wow. is smooth. there is no chunks in there. Mm -hmm. And get a good coverage now i will say this it would take two cover or two coats of this because yeah, it is sure. than the waverly chalk paint but if you can't get chalk paint this is a great recipe now as far as the talc goes i will say that when um i first saw holly's recipe and i went looking for powder with talc i could mm -hmm. not find any in town the only kind that I could find was the medicated foot powder that people use for athletes' feet. And it still mm. has talc powder in it, but it also has a very strong medicated smell. And it made my paint smell that way and it didn't go away. So that's <laughs> why I didn't like that, that recipe and that's why I quit using it. But if you can get some powder that has talc in it and again i found this on amazon i just looked on amazon but this little bottle was five dollars but if you can get it now this is lovely and now see it's dry and i'm going over again and yep that's all you would have needed is two coats well you know what let's go with the old baking soda so i've got baking soda here and i've got my water to pour in so i'm going to put in half a teaspoon of my baking soda and then half a teaspoon of my water and I have craft stick craft to mix it up. up. Is yours mixing up any easier than mine was? It's mixed it up pretty well. I wish y'all could see it. It's, it's, now it's real runny. This one's really runny. That kind of scares me. And I just have some acrylic paint from the Dollar General. And we're going to put in, whoops, two tablespoons. And now we need a teaspoon, two of them. This is a different kind of craft chat for us. We normally are talky-talky or interviewing someone, 
but we've started doing some of these demonstrations because people have actually been asking us for that to slow things down and and show y'all so we thought that for our craft chat um, format that we can start adding those in at least once a month maybe do an interview once a month do a demonstration once a month all right let's put this one in here this is really runny um and i did the half teaspoon of water and the half teaspoon of the powder so i don't know how to like the baking powder one baking soda sorry Bacon way soda. different thing <laughs> it's awfully runny Ooh. okay here we go guys i'm going to try it and then i'll clean up my mess before i do the next one so <laughs> it made it extremely thin this is not like chalk paint at all I can see it. I mean, how many coats do you think you would need of it? Oh my, three. <laughs> oh wow. But this color was really light to start with. Um, let's see how this one dries before I give you a full yes or no. We're going to try cornstarch because cornstarch was another recipe that I found and your powders actually have cornstarch in them now so i thought this would be a good one to try you could use it with just regular cornstarch i got this big thing of cornstarch at walmart for like a dollar so it's not expensive at all not at all all right so this one is really thin too this cornstarch comes out very thin when it's half and half like that so now we got our paint in there. We're going to mix in our cornstarch and water. And again, it looks really thin to me, but we'll see. Let's put that on. Actually, you know what? I kind of like that and it may only take one coat. So we'll let that one dry and see how it looks when it's dry. But actually, I kind of like this cornstarch. I think it looks just as good. So the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to use this plaster of Paris. And let's try it. I think you could cover this in about two coats. It's a little thin, it's not as thick as chalk paint, at least not the Waverly chalk paint. Let's let that dry. Um, it's taken a little bit of time to dry. It's not quite as quick as chalk paint does. Not the way yeah, really brand. So now my last one was calcium carbonate. And I went on Amazon and I ordered this bottle. Now this bottle was ten dollars. <gasps> so I this hope you pretty, Yeah, this is pretty expensive. And I was actually surprised. This is a um supplement because it says it supports bone health so you can take this okay this might be good for you <laughs> it's, a, it's a bone health supplement now here's a fun fact and i brought these up here with me so you can see these antacids are calcium carbonate the reason and i wish i would have known it before i bought this i would have just ground these up and tried it but these are colored so it would probably change the color of your paint anyway but i was very interested i wanted to look when i was in town and see because you know i think the mint ones are a white color so if they you are. got those and ground them up supposedly it's the same thing as this it's both calcium carbonate this is actually pretty thick this texture looks more like chalk paint than any of them did so now let's paint some on there it's pretty thin it's not like chalk paint um it does have a smooth quality to it it really does but you would need probably three coats of it oh wow I think so far my favorite is still the cornstarch. My third recipe actually involves chalk. And I already have it ground up. I took a stick of chalk. It took exactly pretty much one stick and I ground it up real well. 
into a powder and it's in this bowl. And now I'm going to mix the water. Oh, and it takes a lot of mixing. <laughs> How does it? But it is, but it is a lot thicker than any of my other two, than the other two I did. And I think you can get chalk at the Dollar Tree, can't you? Actually, that came from the Dollar Tree. You can adjust these these recipes too. You know, you can yeah. try adding a little bit of a little bit more powder, maybe not as much water, and that may make these a lot different. But these are the this is the recipe that we found. Yes. The recipe that yes. we found. All right, so let's put it on. Ooh, I got some grit still in there, so I'd have to work on that a little bit. Maybe mix a little longer. But you know, out of all of my three, this is the best one. Now, was yours a really fine powder before you put it in there? Had, did, it you probably to... wasn't quite fine enough. No, I'm fine. Dude. Now, you might need to put it in like a baggie and, and beat it with something after you ground it down Good and idea. just powder it on out. Yeah, take a rolling pin and just really beat it. But yeah. you know what? This is pretty close to chalk paint. Yeah. Yeah, out of the three that I have used, this is the smoothest. It covers. Um, I only have a little grit because I didn't beat mine fine enough, but I mean, it is chalk, <laughs> especially if I think if you put maybe a tiny bit more, yeah, I could live with that. I can pretty much get that in one coat. And it's maybe a super not hot paint. Maybe not I, do the half and half, half powder, half water, maybe yeah. do a little more powder. Yeah, I think a little more powder would be perfect. And I use the same type paint from these two. They are the exact same paint. So this one, it just came out a whole lot better. But I kind of expected it to because it's chalk. It's chalk. <laughs> this is cheap. That's right. So out of all the recipes, um, especially my other two, I didn't care for them at all. But my number one, of course, is the chalk. Out of mine, I still think the cornstarch was the best. I, I do That's like really cool. Holly, and honestly, you know, maybe Holly don't use half powder, half water. I'm not sure. I looked online and you know, you don't always get the exact right thing. But from what I yeah. found, it said half water, half talc. Um, and, and it is pretty, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you've got a good coverage there. It's very smooth and it smells mm -hmm. really good. But mine, the actual cornstarch worked a little bit better. It's just a little bit thicker and maybe it wouldn't take a third coat. So yeah, I'm, I'm giving it to the cornstarch unless I added a little more talcum powder. Let's, you know what, while we're sitting here, let's just do that. Let's, let's put another fourth of a teaspoon. Okay. And that way it would be one and a half to, um, to one. All right. So we'll use three fourths of a teaspoon of the talc and half a teaspoon of the water. And now let's mix this together and see what happens. Like I said, it smells really good. It smells like a baby. Now that is looking a lot thicker. Putting a li just that little bit more powder is looking mm -hmm. a lot thicker. So and I think my chalk paint would too. Let's try this right here. Oh yeah. That yeah so if you're going to use the talc what i would do is do um one and a half of the talc to one right. water so if you're doing a if you're doing a full recipe where you use one third cup paint for the talc mm -hmm. i would use um one and a half teaspoons of the powder and one teaspoon of the water and and that yeah that is gorgeous now that now this is my favorite <laughs> that's one coat do you see how pretty that is that's beautiful so i like that yeah, i think the talc now again talc is hard to find it really mm -hmm. is hard to find um because Baby powder is not made with talc anymore. Baby powder is made with cornstarch. 
But mm -hmm. that also tells me that you could get baby powder and use it because the cornstarch looked great. I mean, it really yeah. did. It looks amazing. So you could get baby powder or shower to shower, any of that from the Dollar Tree and use mm -hmm. it. And I mean, yeah, that would be great. So yeah. and cheaper too. Exactly. So I, I like think that. that if I was going to have a go based on price, mm -hmm. I would either use the chalk. That would probably be my number one would be the chalk or I would use the cornstarch powder because it's cheaper. Now, if you don't mind paying five dollars for a little bottle of talc, you know, it works great if you if you put a little more talc than water. I'm looking at my um, chalk chalk paint <laughs> and it looks really good. And like I said, it's same type paint between these two. This one's not horrible, but it was really thin and so it would be runny. But the chalk was the best. So I think for crafting cousins, <laughs> in our opinion, if you're going to make it, you're better off buying a box of chalk, grounding mm -hmm. it down, and using that in your paint. You mix it with some water, half and half, or Kay said maybe even a little more. Maybe you would do one and a half chalk to half or mm -hmm. to the water. So mm -hmm. um, try that, see how it works for you. In our opinion, for the money, chalk mm -hmm. and cornstarch would be the two. Don't I you think? think? So. I think so. I think those two for the money and for the quality of how the paint turns out, I think you're right. I would not waste my money on this calcium carbonate. Now that it's dry, it is so thin. All it did was thin out your um, paint. That's all it did. It's, it's not worth it. I would not waste my money on that. <laughs> yeah, that's how the, uh, the baking soda was too. Okay, well, I think that's all the time that we have for today. I Thank you all so much for joining us. This was actually fun. I know it was a little tedious watching us mix things up, but I think it was fun. And a little messy. And a little messy. <laughs> well, Kay, you have a great week. I know you're going on vacation this week. Y'all enjoy it. Thank you so much. I can't wait. I'll have to tell you all about it when I get back. I can't wait. You guys have a great week. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. If you saw something you like, we hope you'll give us a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think and if you have any suggestions. We just love hearing from y'all and it really does help our channel grow. We would love for you to tune in all week for Made It Mondays, Wild Card Wednesdays, Transformation Thursdays, and then finish off the week with Craft Chat on Saturday mornings. See you tomorrow.